Before I start this video, I just wanted to say thank you guys for getting me to 50,000 subscribers. Come 2K18, the videos are about to be lit. I know that you guys that are OGs to this channel, you guys already know that the park videos, I know you guys messed with them and you guys like the way I did those editing videos. But um, if you guys haven't seen those videos, if you guys are new here and these are the only videos you guys see, you guys should go ahead and check those out so you see what you're in store. And at the same time, I want to let you guys know right now, I'm thinking about if I should upload park again. I haven't played park in months. But if you guys wanted me to upload some more park gameplays, let me know. I can do that. But I mean, I know you guys like these concept videos. And I have a lot of ideas that I'm willing to share with you guys. So if you guys want to see just these videos, let me know. Or if you guys want to see 2K17, let me know. But you guys can just click that right there and vote there. It'll be a lot easier for me to see than just going through comments. But yeah, let me know. For those of you guys who watched the last video, if you like that idea, you're probably going to like this one. But for those of you who hated that idea, you're probably going to hate this one too. But I was thinking, the main thing that's going on in the NBA world right now is Kyrie and LeBron. How it happened, not very many people know. We can all make our speculations, but none of us really know exactly what happened. Now the rumors that are out are saying that Kyrie wants more of a role to be more of the focal point in the offense and that he wants to get more credit for what he feels like he's done for the team. Now obviously Kyrie's done a lot for the team but you're on a team with LeBron James and we all know what that means. You're probably not going to get that much credit because LeBron is the best player in the league right now. Now things like this in the league do happen and they kind of happen a lot. If you think about Durant and Westbrook, now Kyrie, LeBron. KG, Marbury, Kobe, Shaq, it happens a lot. I say all that to ask this one question. In my career, how many points are you guys averaging right now? Because I'm averaging 60 points. Now obviously that's super unrealistic, but the reason why I'm averaging that is because I play on rookie to get badges. Now for everybody who plays park and likes to get badges and whatnot, this might stop you a little bit from doing what you want to do. But I mean, they could have different settings, kind of like how Madden does. Like you could have casual, where people are just trying to play for fun, where this plays absolutely no part. Or you could have competitive, where people are actually trying to play realistically. So if you do stuff like that, your teammates get mad at you. Now, I could care less if Rodney Magruder was to get mad at me for scoring 60 points a game, because he doesn't really play anyways. But if you had a star player on your team, that might affect you a little bit more. Or if you're trying to recruit players to come to your team, that would affect you some more. Now, every time that I do one of these, you guys who play Park, let me know. You know, why would 2K do something like this if it would stop people from playing Park and whatnot? Which is why I said do different modes. You guys definitely make sense. Some of you guys, some of you guys don't try, but some of you guys make sense when it comes to the criticism. So my idea is pretty clear. Every superstar has an ego. Now, if you're a role player or a bench player, I don't think that you should care or possibly have any type of reason to care why your star player is scoring 60. As long as you're winning and you stay on the team, that's all that should matter to you. But every star player has an ego. So I feel like if you're playing with a star player, you should have to cater towards his ego the same way as they should have to cater towards yours. Making the game a little bit more realistic, that's only if you put it on that setting. Now, I don't think they should keep it like that, period, because if I want to play uh, park or whatever and I just want badges I should be able to switch it to where I don't care and I'm just could score I could score any given night or if I want to just sit back and play some my career I could put it on and actually have to play and play regularly and play actual basketball now I hope that that clears stuff up and that you guys understand where I'm coming from if you guys don't once again the comment section is available you guys don't have to say my idea is dumb or stupid if you guys think that whatever you think that but hey I'm always willing to hear criticism. Yeah, used to treat my mattress like the ATM. Yeah, bond number nine, that my favorite scent. Yeah, can't forget the Kush, I'm talking OG. Yeah, rest in peace to Pop, he was an OG. Oh yeah, 285, I had that pack on me. Uh, 